hello gorgeous soul welcome to your july horoscope oh my goodness it is a pivotal extremely important month for our future and that is because the north and south nodes are changing sign now the north node has been in stable taurus we've been looking at for security we've wanted to lay foundations we've been examining the abundance in our life and heading towards that and now the north node is going into fiery and independent aries so we're like rah i want to express my individual Individuality. I want to forge ahead with my passion. Now, the South Node, which is where we're coming from, is going into Libra. It was in Scorpio, which is all about letting go of our obsessions. And it's now in Libra. And that's about balance and injustices. We may be looking back to some injustices in our lives. We may want to find our balance, but in a new way, which fundamentally supports us as individuals. So it's about us and me and finding the balance between those two but fundamentally going towards our unique soul also this month we have venus the planet of love in leo which has been in for some time going retrograde going backwards we're finding ourselves we're finding our passion we're finding our pride and our generosity of spirit it is a big old month here's your monthly astrology Hey, lovely, luscious Leo. Guess what? Venus is still in your sign and it's going retrograde. Look out for those exes that may come crawling out of the woodwork or even projects or creative things that you used to do that you no longer do that suddenly you fall in love with again. You're reworking it and you're going to make it work for your future. You're determined to heal the past and move forward but to do that you may have to revisit the past in some way but venus's vibes are around you whether they're retrograde or not so you have this extra magic people find you really alluring people are very drawn to you hence also people that you've let go of may come back in and be very very drawn to you you've got this very very uh, powerful power at the moment but you're determined to sort it out and you're determined to know your worth and other people are responding to you in a very very positive way but if there's something you need to let go of this should be the month to do it really um if you're meant to have a reunion with someone if you're meant to reconnect with someone that too could happen in a very very powerful way and the whole point of venus being here for so long is to make sure that you truly love yourself i mean i'd be shocked if you didn't love yourself within four months because there's been such a, a strong focus on you and you're ready for it and you're ready to open up. You're also ready for an adventure as the North Node is going into your expansion and adventure zone. And this is good. It hasn't been there for 18 years. You're ready to spread your wings. You're ready to move forward and you're ready to move on. Perhaps you were really focused on building up your career in some way recently or maybe you were worried about it and then it transformed and now is the time for expansion and adventure and for, uh, for you to open up your heart to new possibilities some leos will move will travel abroad will completely redefine themselves will study something new there's a whole host of adventure and possibility you're also going to meet lots of interesting exciting really unique individuals in this period let's start with the other mundane stuff at the beginning of the month you're super psychic and there could be some really clear psychic intuitive message coming to you make sure you listen to it do you trust your intuition at the beginning of this month you really really need to with the full moon in capricorn you're determined to change some patterns you're determined to look after your health and well-being and the moon is giving you a message and saying right you know, if you're not, particularly if you're not taking, it's important time to take care of your mental health and to look after yourself. How are you feeling? Are you looking after yourself enough? The full moon will give you a very clear message on how to do that. And maybe someone will pop in to help you in some way. Don't be, whatever you do, the shadow side of that is don't be judgmental on yourself or other people on that full moon. When Mars enters Virgo, kissing your sign goodbye, you're able to dig the foundations that you need to. You should be feeling much more secure in yourself. 
you know where you want to go and you're pushing your energy towards that goal. Anyway, never mind that. On the 11th, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into your sign. So not only have you got Venus there, and um, not only are we heading into Leo season on the 23rd, but you've got the gift of the gab. Your words are spells and power. And you also have super magical ability when the new moon goes into Cancer. You can cast a spell on yourself, actually, or on your life to magic up what you desire. Now, if you've had illusions or somebody's been lying to you, that will come to the surface. But you're ready to step into your magic, your spirituality and your dreams. With Venus backing you up, with Mercury backing you up and then the sun going into Leo, the world is your oyster. What do you want for this next phase? You've certainly got the energy. If there's anyone from your past, though, that lived in a different country or was very unusual in some way, or you've experienced some vulnerability connected to those areas, you may be feeling it a little bit as Chiron is bringing back someone or something from the past that may be a vulnerability of yours, but it's giving you the opportunity to overcome it. The big sort of power date of this month for you is the 27th of July when Mercury joins forces with Venus. And you truly are in your power then. There's something you've got to say, something you've got to express, something you've got to do. That is the perfect day to do it. This month is super exciting and you are in your power. And it's an exceptionally long time for Venus to be in your sign. Make the most of it for self-healing, for healing any romantic relationships and for knowing that you deserve abundance because Venus will be trying to bring you some abundance. I was thinking, actually, if anybody owes you money, you might ironically get it back this month. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. So why do we at Michelle Knight give you a five-minute, no-questions-asked guarantee? Well, our psychics are some of the very best in the world. They are hand-picked, they have five rigorous test readings, the final one with me, and I require very detailed information, things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at Google or social media. We want you to be totally blown away by your reading, to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice, and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home.